guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode one of The World's End With You, the animation. I am so freaking excited about this. This is possibly, not even possibly, it is my number one, like, most anticipated anime of this season, such so despite everything else that I've been watching. Um, quick note before we get started and such, this is really towards kind of everybody, because I know everyone is currently possibly looking for this episode one to find it really quick. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, due to the per uh, to the company that has made this that I love so much, Square Enix, and I also feel like Papa Nomura is going to be honing down on people, anyone who watches this or shows this, unfortunately, I cannot show you um, the episode as much as I want to, but if I do, as a possibility, I'm going to get this channel taken away, and I don't want that to happen, so please note that as much as I want to show you anything from this first episode or the rest of the series unfortunately I can't do to that situation because something tells me officially as of now possibly this whole weekend in the next like remaining 11 weeks with this show they are going to be honing down on people no matter what so yes if you are also looking for this episode it ain't gonna be here just try somewhere else as much as I tell you or at least try the official Funimation app or something else. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one and three, two, one, go. Also, I barely remember anything from this. This has been forever since I played the game. I watched a recapitation last month, but I barely remember that too. I'm not ready for all this. This is going to hurt all over again. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, there comes truck tune. Hopefully, we she we uh, I can't speak. We see Shiki by the end of this episode. Pretty lens fair. No, you just stuck there for now. Hmm? Ah, oh, the music. <laughs> Poor Naku, and I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> he looks 
It's so pretty. Oh my god. Oh, I can't. It's so good. And it's only a couple of minutes. God, I always hated those frog things. They were so annoying. It also makes you wonder if um, Beat and Rhyme are also going to be in this first episode as well. I don't think so. Maybe like episode two. D it depends on like how fast the pacing is. Because you have to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, do you want to die? Like, mm-mm. I wonder if um Coco is going to be shown in the show. Look how pretty she is! Like, oh my god! No. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Like, damn, they are going... I, I get the fact that they're going really fast and it because of the fact is, yes, it's only 12 episodes, even though I wish this was 24, but... Mm-hmm. I know, look at them, they don't have wings. Is that what's her face? Yeah, that has to be her sayu. Basically, we're talking about Hachi. Yeah, there goes Neku. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's no I in Team Neku. Listen to Shiki. Not go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't stoop so low. Unlike somebody, but <laughs> oh, we can talk about that later. Sir, you're in this too? Oh my god, thank you. Jesus. Oh. He didn't mean it though. Stop.
Yeah, you can't do everything all on your own, Echo. I mean, goddamn, they're just going through these days like it's nobody's fucking business. We now in day three. <laughs> we got like, oh, we got nine minutes left. <laughs> No, shaky. Basically. Oh, that boss. I fucking hated that boss. Sorry. See, he's so precious. I love him so much, baby. Like, oh. They really did good on this. Like, I'm so proud of them. Like, oh my god. With the time that they had, like, Jesus. I was at first a little, like, scared because I was like, mm. But no, like, they did such a good job. Mm-hmm. I hate this boss. I hate this boss. I hate this boss.
can't with these two. Like, oh, it's too much. Uh, and there's the boss that I can't stand. So fucking cute. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Oh my, <laughs> not good. No. <laughs> Unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Our reapers. <sighs> okay. 
this was a really good first episode. I mean, I love the fact that it's just... Because at first, like I said, I was a little hesitant on how the fuck they were going to do this and such. But they did a really good job. I love the fact that it focused on the first three days and such. And I'm guessing episode two was going to focus on day four to day seven. Ultimately, like, you know... Can I spoil? Should I spoil? I don't know. The... Mm, okay, basically, who gets to move on? That's all I'm going to say. That's it. I'm surprised that they got a lot of familiar saves that I know from, like, so many different things. And it makes me wonder, because since I didn't play Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance in Japanese, for Shiki's VA, Beats VA, and Rhyme's VA, are they the same VAs that they currently have for the anime? And then a lot of people are kind of wondering if the English dub is going to feature the same people who played them in the English version for Dream Drop Distance, possibly. I'm not really 100% sure on it, because... Who knows? I'm guessing they're probably, Funimation's probably going to get people from their team to do the dub for this. But honestly, it was really good. I mean, yes, the pacing is like, eh. It, it's not all over the place like another <laughs> anime adaptation of a game was. Because in my opinion, that series, even though it got like... 28 episodes it was a hot mess but I still enjoyed it every single week because I was like I'm watching this strictly to see to hear the other Seiyu's voice and then the main character you know he was a protagonist quiet in that series and you got to hear him talking a whole bunch but it's very similar to that where like in the game nobody talks and so you don't really get to hear voice acting and such and this is the first time you know well essentially Dream Drop Distance um that you get to hear a lot of the characters talk and everything. I mean, they, they went out and got a lot of fucking people that I've seen for so many different things. But, oh, God, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I mean, this is for the in the next 11 weeks. And probably by the time we get to the, the last episode. They have 11, yeah, they got 11 episodes to make this a really good adaptation. That's the only thing I'm going to say about that. Because... In my opinion, the best video game anime adaptation is Persona 4 The Animation. They did that really good. The pacing wasn't too fast, wasn't too slow. Persona 5 The Animation was... <laughs> and in my opinion, even though I enjoyed it for what it was. Um, but with this, because I love this series so freaking much, just as much as Persona and Kingdom Hearts, um, I'm going to be like happy about everything but then at the same time I'm really going to critique it where it's certain things even though I don't remember every little detail of this series because it's been a while since I played it and like I said the last month I watched the recapitation and such but I don't remember every little thing but it wouldn't surprise me like I said if Coco does show up um in like the last few episodes it wouldn't surprise me if the characters from neo the world ends with you possibly shows up as well because as namora has stated neo takes i think it's three years after the original series so who knows how they're really going to end this show if it's going to end up in the <clears throat> the first original ending that we got it when we got it when the original game came out or the newer ending there's so many different unanswered questions with this but of course you know all we have to do is keep watching so hopefully i just pray that by the end of this series it's good people aren't pissed at it because of course a lot of people are currently pissed about the animation quality and such how some people have said it looks too cartoonish and stuff and i'm like no it's perfect it looks fine i, I just because like i was hesitant about this as well like going back to last year and like seeing just little bits and pieces i was like oh my god this looks beautiful but my biggest thing was how the noise uh i can't speak how the noise were gonna look but honestly with the cgi animation it just works for this show i just know like yeah a lot of people are gonna be very hesitant but for our first episode they really did so fucking good and honestly i cannot wait to see how in the world they just tackle maybe everything i do want to see that one conversation between the two girls who were fighting that are best friends and such and then someone else's conversation that i don't remember which character it is but probably when they come up then i'll remember but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode one of the world ends with you the animation if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for episode two bye guys